peace of Christ be with you on day one of this novena to Our Lady of Guadalupe. We are the parish visitors of Mary Immaculate, contemplative missionary sisters. We go out to the most rejected and neglected and draw them to the sacred heart of the Good Shepherd through door-to-door -door evangelization, catechesis, and many other ways of helping people. We are honored to begin this novena here at the heart and powerhouse of prayer of our community, the Immaculate Conception Chapel at Mary Crest, Monroe, New York, our mother house. My name is Sister Teresa Marie, and I am the vocation director for the community and the local superior in our mission convent in Warren, Ohio. My name is Sister Mary Viera. I am a novice director. And I am Sister Joanne Marie. I am the Assistant Local Superior here at our Mother House. And behind the camera is Sister Mary Eileen, the Director of Development for our community and also Director of Evangelization at St. Anthony Parish in West Harrison, New York. Let's go inside now and pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin of Guadalupe, that in your heavenly apparitions on the Mount of Tepeyac, you promised to show your compassion and pity towards all who, loving and trusting you, seek your help and call upon you in their necessities and afflictions. You promised to hear our supplications, to dry our tears, and to give us consolation and relief. Never has it been known that anyone who pled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly to you, O Mary, ever Virgin Mother of the true God. Though grieving under the weight of our sins, we come to prostrate ourselves before you. We fully trust that standing beneath your shadow and protection Nothing will trouble or afflict us, nor do we need to fear illness or misfortune or any other sorrow. O Virgin of Guadalupe, you want to remain with us through your admirable image, you who are our mother, our help, and our life, placing ourselves beneath your maternal gaze and having recourse to you in all our necessities, we need do nothing more. O Holy Mother of God, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer us. Today, we begin our novena by praying for all young women, but especially all of the young women who feel drawn to participate with the given institute. We ask that God would help these young women discern their next steps and provide for all their needs. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lift the me of our female sins. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. 
our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. Saint Agatha, pray for us. Saint Agnes, pray for us. Saint Anastasia, pray for us. Saint Anne, pray for us. Saint Bernadette Sibro, pray for us. Saint Bridget of Sweden, pray for us. Saint Bridget of Ireland, pray for us. Saint Kathleen of Siena, pray for us. Saint Cecilia, pray for us. Saint Claire of Assisi, pray for us. Saint Dimitra, pray for us. Saint Elizabeth of the Trinity, pray for us. Saint Elizabeth and Sitten, pray for us. Saint Francis Xavier Cabrini, pray for us. Saint Culture, pray for us. Saint Gianna Beretta Mola, pray for us. Saint Hildegard von Bingen, pray for us. Saint John Juban. Pray for us, Saint John of Arc. Pray for us, Saint Josephine of Kita. Pray for us, Saint Catherine Pekowita. Pray for us, Saint Catherine Drexel. Pray for us, Saint Lucy Yi Zemei. Pray for us, Saint Margaret Quintana. Pray for us, Saint Margaret Mary Alaco. Pray for us, Saint Margaret of Scotland. Pray for us. Saint Maria Faustina Quasca, pray for us. Saint Maria Corelli, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Saint Monica, pray for us. Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta, pray for us. Saint Perpetua and Felicity, pray for us. Saint Filomena, pray for us. Saint Rose of Lima, pray for us. Saint Rose of Philippine Touche, pray for us. Saint Teresa Benedict of the Cross, pray for us. Saint Teresa of Avila, pray for us. Saint Theodora Garen, pray for us. Saint Teresa of Lisieux, pray for us. Saint Zelle Garen Martin, pray for us. God, who, when the fullness of time had come, sent forth your Son, born of a woman, grant that through the intercession of His holy women. We may come to imitate Mary's virtue with the boldness every day of our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God, bless God bless you all. Peace of Christ. My name is Sister Teresa Marie, and I'm a parish visitor of Mary Immaculate. We are contemplative missionary sisters, living a recollected life in the heart of Jesus and going out with the Good Shepherd to those most in need in the parish field of work. As you can see, here at Our Lady of Providence Convent, we live in the heart of the parish. I'm standing at the sarcophagus of our foundress, Mother Mary Teresa Talon. She received two inspirations to found our community. The first one was very contemplative. She said, God had asked me to give myself to greater perfection and to train other souls to perfection of spirit that he might rest in their recollected hearts and reign there as Supreme Lord and Master. The second part of our Foundress's inspiration contained the more missionary aspect of our community. She said, God revealed to me I must establish an institute where women would be trained to greater spiritual perfection and being formed in the contemplative spirit, go out in search of the lost lambs and bring them back to the fold by means of Christian instruction. I saw God's will clearly and received strong assurances of his powerful protection. Jesus offered himself as security for the work and promised to supply by his infinite perfection the lack on my part. We come to the chapel each morning and throughout the day to spend time with our Eucharistic Lord, opening our hearts to him, bringing to him each of the lost sheep we are seeking on his behalf, praying together, and simply being in his presence. 
Our founders often spoke of devotion to the sacred heart of the Good Shepherd. She said that it's the burning love of the sacred heart that draws him out to go after that one sheep that has been lost. Today, it often seems like it's the 99 sheep who have left, but like the Good Shepherd, we go out after each one of them whom we encounter through our direct evangelization and also through our catechetical apostolate. For many families who are sending their children also need help to come home to the Lord themselves. Hi, my name is Sister Marie Michelle, and as a child, I didn't have a chance to learn about God and about the Catholic faith, but by a miracle of His grace, I was baptized, received First Communion and Confirmation at 16 years old, and I was filled for the first time with His grace, His love, His joy, and I long to share that with others as a parish visitor of Mary Immaculate, and so I'm so grateful for our foundress who started this community to help children with cases similar to my own. God bless you. Hello, my name is Sister Deborah Marie, and I am missioned here at our convent in Warren, Ohio, where I serve as the director of evangelization for our local parish. Evangelization is spreading the good news of Jesus to everyone in the world. As parish visitors, we have the joy of doing this by going to people's homes, meeting with them, becoming friends with them, and bringing them to their best friend, Jesus Christ. Say thank you to God right away. Just think about it. Before we go off to class, there's the beautiful Advent. We make gifts in our hearts and in every little thing we do each day to give a gift to the baby Jesus when he comes. Lord, make to help me. At supper time, we return to the convent to offer the fruits and struggles of our day and to receive the refreshment of being together in community, at prayer and at meals. In the evening, we may go out again to share the good news through sacramental preparation, Bible studies, etc., before entrusting ourselves and our mission to our beloved spouse at the end of the day. <laughs>